Call me, Ryan. Oh, it's like five thousand, five six thousand dollars inside. Yeah, I got the envelope with the yeah. Oh, you got oh new PC, like the four K PC, the white color. Uh, you don't want white anymore. Okay. So you want this for video edi editing? Yeah, yeah. Gaming? No. Okay. Do you want to wait like two more months because there's a no? It must be today, but it's a new CPU. Oh, must be today, ah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. I I see what I can do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess we got some money to go Simlim Square with. So right now I'm at Simlim Square. I have my 5K, not my 5K, as Ryan 5K. And I'm thinking, well, should I get the AMD Threadripper or the Intel i9? So there's a there's a thing that says that when you have the Threadripper, it's better for red footage, which we have a red camera. That's a dilemma. We're gonna see the price and we're gonna see which one is better. I guess we can get an AMD just for a variety. The PCs at the office is already Intel. Then should we get a 2080? Or the 2080 Ti. It's a $500 difference, but well, then again, we got see whether we got enough like cash. Yeah, it's still open. Yeah, right here. Ha ha. Ha Remember this shop? So, so in a way, right, this video is gonna be like that 4K video we did two years ago, close to three. And I think, I think maybe they still recognize me. I don't know. The reason why I still like to build my own PC is because of the customization and you know, I know what I'm buying, I'm not getting cheated and all this kind of thing. And a little tip for you for shopping for PC parts, it's it's good to be flexible with your parts if you can. Because some parts are just readily available. Because for our case, we needed the Samsung 970 Pro M.2 1TB SSD. Not a lot of people would buy. So it wasn't readily available and the whole shopping experience took longer than usual. 3 hours. So okay, today's damage is $5,830. I went a bit over budget but I will explain it later in the video. And on Instagram, I actually asked y'all to guess the price of the, all the parts and one person almost got it right, Fortnite Pro Skills. $5,810. Good job. You didn't really get there but you're the closest so I guess you don't win anything. So I'm back in the office. Uh, yeah, I decided to get Ryzen and uh, the 2080. So there's no 2080 Ti, no Intel. Quite excited to build this. Yes, one thing I'll mention. This is the first time I actually uh, bought a Ryzen Threadripper. And the Ryzen Threadripper is it's huge. It's like very wide. It's rectangle CPU. And it has its own motherboard that has its own bracket and socket. When I open up my CPU cooler, where's the bracket for it? Because they didn't come with it. And I was searching online like for a good 15 minutes and I realized it actually comes with the CPU. The unboxing experience is actually pretty awesome. Look at that. Below here, it's a kit with the bracket. Look at that, it's a bracket for the mount right there. One more thing is that the motherboard itself has like star screws. They actually provide the, the screwdriver for the star. I thought that was really cool. So now it's just me explaining my parts. Then after the parts, you're gonna see a time lapse of me building this. First up, the CPU, AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2950X. 16 cores, 32 threads. It was either this or the Intel Core i9-9920X, which is a little more expensive, has 12 cores. But I know it's not all about the cores, it's not all about the speed. But I think that really made my decision was Ryzen seemed to have a better performance on RAID footage, so I decided to go for that. And pairing it up with the NZXT Kraken X62 all-in-one CPU water cooler. GPU, we went with the Zotac Gaming 2080. There was really no reason to get the 2080 Ti. So 2080 was more than good enough. For the motherboard, I got the S-Rock Tai Chi X399. It's not the one I wanted, but it was readily available and it has everything I needed. Just didn't look as good as I want. For the RAM, I got 2 times 16 gigs of RAM, so a total of 32 gigs of RAM. And this is where things get a little complicated and why it got much more expensive than it normally would. And what I'm talking about is the storage your hard drive and SSD. For video editing, storage is quite important. Think of it like this. Let's say you have a video file, it's best to put your file in a fast storage like an SSD so that the transfer from the video file to the editing software, it's a lot smoother. So what I got is 10 TB of Iron Wolf hard drive for archive video, you know, stuff like that. 2 TB of Samsung 860 EVO for media storage. 1 terabyte Samsung 970 Pro. This is the one that is expensive. 
for a scratch disk. And this is where the software will take advantage of. And 500 gigs of Samsung 970 Pro for Windows 10. And last internal component is the power supply EVGA 850G+. And for the case, we went for the Corsair Obsidian Series 500D RGB. Building this PC, you know, took 1 hour to 1 hour 30 minutes normal timing for how I built a PC. Uh, cable management was not very good because I was in a rush to build this. But do let me know if you want to really learn how to build a PC, do comment in the section and like this video so that I know that you want to see more PC building. Okay, so I think I'm going to name this the 6K PC. Haha, <laughs> right? So how's the performance? So the performance is uh, expected. The 2080 play games as how a 2080 should play. Processor? I mean, it's a 16 core CPU. <laughs> I'm, I think the thing that is interesting is three years ago when we did the 4K PC, the type of processor we bought was the same price. I mean, although it's a 2K difference, the reason why this is more expensive is because of the storage. You know, the SSD we bought, the, the M.2 uh, SSD, that's why it's a bit more expensive. And it's really more for the Premiere Pro, the editing software. So comparing with the white PC, legit the same price, but we get 16 core compared to the last like 8 cores or is it 10 cores, I forgot. It's so interesting, 16 cores, 32 threads, that's, that's mad. 3 years ago, that would be like 20k. I think the one more interesting thing is how is this compared to the Mac Pro 2019. It's just announced while building this and uh, testing this, they just announced the MacBook and uh, ooh, the price for 8 cores, 16 thread with uh, 256 SSD memory, uh, sorry, storage. I think uh, 8 gigs or 16 gigs of uh, ECC memory, you, it's a 5999 USD. That's $8,000 for 8 core CPU. Definitely, this PC, 2K cheaper, would blow this Mac Pro out of the water. But Mac Pro has its own use, okay? So the thing about Mac Pro is that th there's this thing called ECC, which is, uh, how you say, self diagnose error. Thing. So you get less error with the Mac Pro. What does that mean is you can just keep the PC running for days, years and it will be fine compared to a PC where you know sometimes when you leave it too long for like two or three days, you need to restart it just to refresh it. So that's the thing about the Mac Pro. It's more stable uh, because it's the Xeon CPU and the ECC memory. I just like to say the 28 core Xeon CPU is 28. I mean, this Ryzen Threadripper has a 32 core CPU. It costs about 2.5k sing. The one that Intel has the Xeon 28 core costs $22,000 just for the CPU. We're not talking about the motherboard or anything. But in another way, um, Xeon has its own use. Xeon is more for like uh, servers and stuff, so cannot compare. La. I mean, no one needs a Mac Pro. 99.999% of people don't need a Mac Pro. 90% of people don't even need this. Majority can just buy an i9-9900K. Will do good. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. This has been an uh, exciting PC building. I've not built a PC in a long time. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click here for more. Click here to subscribe.